Hello and Swaddy Carp, it's Ricky in Isan here. I'm out here by the uh, beautiful lake in town here. I've had a busy day today just setting a few things up and I'm, I'm always working on something. People seem to think I'm sitting around doing nothing but I'm always working on something and then I've gone and uh, checked the comments in the last video and been a bit surprised by uh, some of the questions people are asking. People clearly aren't getting things and people clearly don't understand the situation that I'm, uh, I'm in here in Thailand. It's not as simple as in the West when you have children. So I thought we'd do a bit of a discussion video, a video I didn't think I'd be doing, just responding to two comments in particular. And I just want to discuss at this video about the whole situation with the Thai family, me and the twins, and why the twins aren't with me full time and what future we've got for the twins here. I had another inter interesting comment as well. So we'll just jump in now with Emma's comment. So Emma had a fair comment, Ricky, I hate to have an unpopular opinion here. I know how much you love these girls but you really must realize that now being a single parent, you have a full responsibility to look after and raise those girls. Your recreation, travel and freedom needs to be put on hold. It's great that grandmother and the family can see the girls, but it's not their responsibility to raise them. It makes me wonder how much responsibility you want over raising them. Now, going back before I've even thought about moving somewhere else and obviously since I've left the village and now I'm living in a city about 30, 40 minutes away from the village, I, I, I was told multiple times by grandmother through translators that uh, she needs the babies to stay with her. The babies make her so happy. She's gone through a lot. And since then, she's also lost her husband, which is tragic. And she needs those babies with her. Please don't take the babies away from her. And I've assured her, I'm not gonna take those babies away from you. So I've been put in an unfortunate situation where in a way they're resisting me having the babies at all. Uh, when I did move, I told them I was moving. I want you guys to live in the, the front house, the house that you built because you guys definitely need the room. I need somewhere better to live because I can't live in this village in isolation with no food, nothing to do, no one to talk to forever. It's killing me. I was in a real mental slump at the time. And I was, and, and the response I got from the Thai family was, we absolutely think it's a great decision what you're doing, but leave the babies with us, just come visit them when you miss them. Which for me was baffling, I thought. And I hit, I hit back straight at them and said, no, they're my babies. I'll decide what I'm gonna do with them. But, I have a respect and care and love for grandmother. So I'm willing to compromise and share them with grandmother and grandmother can even have them more than me because I know how much she needs these babies. There was, there was a little bit of backwards and forwards through that until I said, I'll have them for three or four nights a week. Let's aim for three. Grandma has them for four nights a week and then everybody's happy. And my response also following that up was, if I can't do this, I might as well pack up, take the babies with me to Australia and then you don't see them at all. Because you know, they're my babies. I'm moving to a city down the road where I'm still within reach. I'm still within easy driving distance whenever the babies need me to take them somewhere. I'm only down the road and I can easily transport them backwards and forwards. And I think Emma's also perceiving and other people are perceiving in a much more negative way in the comments that I'm living this luxury life where I'm going out, I'm going to holidays and resorts. I got hooked up with one resort for a weekend. First time ever. Uh, and I'll probably go somewhere else throughout the year as well, of course. I'm not just gonna sit in a house every day forever. Uh, people seem to have a go at me cycling, uh, which cycling is for your, for my health. So it's for my long-term house, so I can potentially uh, live longer rather than you know becoming overweight and unhealthy in my uh, 40s or 50s. And besides that, I'm, I'm not doing a whole heap. I'm at home. I keep getting hit with the, you don't have a job thing. Uh, well, you, essentially you're watching, you're watching this job. It's not a very well paying job, but this is a job. And I don't need a whole heap to get by. So if it was up to me, Emma, uh, and, I, and I completely respect your comment and love that you continue watching my content. You've been watching me for a while now. If it was up to me, Emma, babies will be with me the whole time, but I will have nannies or maids probably with me five days a week because it is a lot of work. And then if I'm just looking after babies on my own, I ain't making videos, I ain't editing videos. If I go get a job, go become an English teacher for that, perhaps, which I could easily do in this city, uh, suddenly five days a week, I'm working full time, what, roughly 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I've got no time to see the babies, do I? Besides Saturday, Sunday, and then you probably spend Saturday doing your chores, doing your errands, and I'm probably only gonna get, you know, the day on Sunday to see my, to see my kids. And it is, it is a cultural thing with the, the Thai family. They're not necessarily being mean to me or trying to resist me from taking care of the twins. It's just men in Thailand don't look after kids. It's uh, very uncommon. It's a cultural thing, it's just, in their minds that they're gonna look after these girls. That's why, like I've said in the past few videos now, I'm gonna be having this chat with grandmother. Uh, I've got a person in the village there who used to 
used to live in Norway, an older lady, and I'm gonna be having a chat with her and grandmother just to make sure it's all clear that once they start schooling, the girls are with me for their schooling days. And then, you know, the weekends, school holidays, I'll still make sure they're with grandmother and she's getting all the, all the Lily and Daisy time she can because she absolutely deserves it. She absolutely loves those girls. I absolutely love those girls and we need to share them. The other comment I got was from a bloke called Matt who's been through an unfortunate, similar situation to me where he's lost his wife while living in South Korea with children. He, he comments something that seems to pop up in the comments over and over again. And something along the lines of, uh, pack up, bring your daughters to Australia while you still can. The education in Isan and Thailand overall is terrible, which I completely disagree with comparing it to Australia. Don't live in the moment, plan it the hell out. That's what parents do. And that's a fair point. I am a widower dad with a young son and I'm not in the moment. I have my son's interests at the very top of my focus and priority. That's what being a parent is. The focus is not on you. Get the hell out of there, focus on your career and being a stand up man who earns a good living for your family. I feel you're in some fantasy, snap out of it. Now, I, hate to, I hate to break it to, to you, Matt, and I hate, to, I hate to break it to other people as well, but this is my career. Uh, there is a lot I can do with this YouTube thing. It's not just about ad revenue. Having an audience, there's a, there's a lot of opportunities online and I'm building on that. And I'm also working on other projects completely unrelated to YouTube as well. And the career comment, uh, well, the whole reason I come to Thailand is I don't want a career. I, I don't want to be working for a company for 40 years, waiting for retirement. I want, to, I want to live now as well. I want to live now with my babies and I want them to experience this childhood in, in Thailand. I don't want to go to Australia and just send money back to the babies, absolutely not. I want the babies to grow up here and I'm going to grow up alongside my babies. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to share, you know, all these projects and things I work on on the side because it's not wise to share this with everybody. This channel's about Ricky and Nissan and just the life in Thailand and the life of my twins. And I'm almost at the stage now where do I stop sharing the life with my twins and just share the, share the Thailand stuff only. It seems to create a lot of issues in the comments. Go going back to Australia, I can go back to my old job and start at the bottom again, driving trucks. Which, which isn't a bad gig, isn't a bad gig. Make a bit of overtime, but at what cost? At what cost? I'll be doing 12 hours a day, not seeing my kids. Uh, and then I have to get, put my kids in childcare because it's not fair to depend on, you know, my 80 year old grandparents to look after my kids while I'm at work, is it? I've got to find a place to rent. It's not fair for me to go move into Nana's house with two kids, is it? I've got to do all sorts of things. I, I just don't see how people can comprehend how I can uh, even stay afloat in Australia. I, I think Australia, and if you know a bit about Canada, extreme cost of living at the moment. Um, even my mum, since she's been back, struggling to find work. Um, we've had heaps of people reach out to help them, just struggling to find work since she's gone back. Um, it's, it's a really tough place to get your feet on the ground. And just with the, the whole cost of living, the cost of children, and how will I be a good father while you know putting in all those hours at work? And I'm not really gonna save much money. In regards to Thailand, Th Thailand's the sort of place where if you follow all the rules correctly, all the laws correctly, you have an entrepreneurial mindset and you're willing to put in the work, Th Thailand is probably one of the best places in the world to be, to make an income, I reckon. And you don't need to make a whole heap. And I don't want to make a whole heap. In comparison to what I could make here in Thailand compared to what I could make in Australia, I think the percentages here are bigger. And a bit deeper in the comments with Matt, as well as other people and other comments as well, I seem to have people have a go at me about, I'm out dating, I'm out, you know, going out at night and stuff here in Chaya Poom. I I'm not. I've uh, met a wonderful person, which I've told you about. We're together and they're wonderful and they're a busy person. They're working all week long and then I've got the babies with me and they help me out with the babies where they can and they're wonderful, they're great. The Thai family's got no issues with me having met someone and um, I had issues with the Thai family. Um, I don't wanna get too into it, but I had issues with the Thai family and it was self-inflicted on their end. I don't know where it came from. The overall thing was when I had a, a good talk with them after uh, these self-inflicted issues, uh, They've got no issues with the, with the girlfriend thing. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I think in Thai culture, you, you need to move on. Someone said in the comments, you need to move on for your late wife to be reincarnated in Buddhist beliefs. So if, if anything, moving on, which I know my late wife would have had no problems with. She'd want me to be happy. She'd know I need someone. If anything, I feel like in the afterlife form, she has somehow arranged me to meet this person because I don't even know how I've met this person. But you know, they're such a wonderful person and we connect so well and they've helped me so much. They've made me get better. My mum met them while she was here and my mum left happy knowing that I had someone here and I think she felt a lot more comfortable leaving the country and leaving me behind here with the twins. I basically went back to ground zero and it's just about rebuilding my life. And you know, I've just happened to meet a wonderful pe person and I just want what's best for my twins, what's best for grandma. And that's what I'm gonna continue doing. If I could have the girls with me full time, Emma, I would. But it's just, 
when I discussed even having the girls for two days, it was, it was met by tears. Like grandmother reacted in a way that I was taking the girls away from her completely. And then I, I had to go get other people and say, well, what's going on? We discussed it all. I said, I'm just going to have them for a few days a week. Why is she crying? And uh, it, it's just, it's such a difficult situation. I don't wish this on anyone, but that's where I'm at. And I hope I wasn't too harsh on these people in the comments, but I just wanted to respond to it. And when I continue getting these comments, video after video after video, I'm just going to link this video as a reply to people's comments because it seems to be the same thing over and over again about, you know, the custody of the children, which I'm doing my best in this situation because it's just, I'm in a different country. I'm in a different culture. I'm not in America. I'm not in England. I'm not in the UK. I'm not in Australia. I'm in Thailand. This is how it is in Thailand. And I also want what's, and I also want what's best for grandmother. It hurts me for sure, not having these girls with me all the time. I miss them so much. I think about them every single day, but I'm, I'm just trying to be the best person I can be here. And I'm using this time where I don't have the girls with me to work on our future. So thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you next video. Hello. How you doing Daisy? How you doing? How you doing Lily? How you doing?